Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Tomzan.us. Uh, today I'm making a quick uh, video demonstration on how to uh, basically get uh, Photoshop-like qualities out of uh, free software um, without purchasing Photoshop. And you know, as we all know, Photoshop is not free, and it's actually intended for professional use. And as such, they charge quite a bit. Uh, I think it's upwards of $500 for the latest Adobe Photoshop uh, uh, program. So with that being said, uh, what's the next best thing? And uh, for me, it's called GIMP. Um, it's 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 quite actually been the standard, uh, the the re the free replacement open source uh, photo editing software. Uh, to replace uh, Photoshop in case if you can't afford it, like you know, a lot of us out here can't really actually afford uh, Adobe Photoshop. It's it's intended for industrial professionals. Uh, it's a great great piece of software. Photoshop is, but unfortunately, just uh, the price tag just uh, way too high. So, what is the be best? N what is the next best thing? And here it is. It's called GIMP and so you go here to gimp.org and uh, you click on download you click uh, if you want the manuals you can do that but uh, usually uh, for windows you just click on download gimp 2.6.11 that's the most recent uh, version and it'll uh, automatically download it's only 19.42 uh, megabytes uh, as opposed to Photoshop which is like 500 megabytes or something like that uh, since I already have it uh, installed uh, and also have it oh, I, I had it uh, downloaded earlier and installed and actually it's already opened so I am going to minimize this screen and open up uh, the GIMP and uh, as you can see already here you know we have the file you can create a new uh, template it, it, they got anything from 640 by 480 to 1600 to A3 A4s or you can just choose whatever you want and we're working with A640 and uh, I'm not gonna paint anything here because I don't know how to paint but <laughs> Uh, you can certainly use this as a um, illustrator. Uh, those of you who have worked with Adobe Illustrator before, you would know that it's the industrial standard software for you to do uh, vector um, uh, works, vector images, and you can certainly do that here as well. You can use the path, uh, and you can use uh, the pen tool, and uh, let's see where the pen tool is. Uh, let's see here somewhere around here I'm sure there is the pen tool but anyway some uh, some of the more frequent tools um, you know the select uh, you have the magic wand you have magnifying you got the text uh, you got the pencil tool you got the paintbrush you got the bucket you got the gradient uh, so yeah pretty much uh, all you'll find in Photoshop you'll find it in here you got the layers in here uh, you got the brush sizes different um, uh, different fills different patterns uh, let's see what else you got you got the paths and the history of course uh, that's always useful um, especially when you're doing uh, vector work I always mess it up and I count on history to help me uh, you know go back and erase my mistakes and um, yeah so pretty much everything you'll find in Photoshop you'll find it here you can adjust the brightness levels curves uh, color balance um, and even some of the uh, you know filters you'll find it here too you know uh, 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 motion blurs, uh, Gaussian blur, blurs, pixel eyes. Um, so I'm, I'm actually quite impressed by the amount of function in here stuffed in a 20 megabyte uh, installation file. Um, makes me wonder, you know, what the extra 400 and some megabyte <laughs> goes to for Photoshop uh, when this program does pretty much the same thing so yeah so that's that uh, you know if you ask me what is a good uh, free replacement for the Adobe Photoshop 
uh, it would be GIMP. Uh, I actually do work with Photoshop so much that I got so used to it. Um, but you know, if 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 you're on a budget, uh, you know the the best next thing is GIMP, and you can get it here at GIMP.org. So that's all for me t today, folks. Uh, please go ahead, rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm I'm trying to reach the uh, 200. Uh, thousand viewer peak by the end of uh, this month and uh, I'm also trying to reach the 200 uh, viewer uh, or rather the 200 subscriber peak um, and actually uh, as of today I think we're doing pretty well we're at 181 so uh, 19 more to go uh, so I'm counting on you guys to do that for me um, tell your friends family post on Facebook uh, TomZane.us lots of how-to videos, games, app reviews, uh, you know, technology and gadgets that uh, suits both the geeky and the non-geeky. So that's all for me today, folks. Uh, until next time, I'll see you here at TomZane.us. Thanks.